everybody, I'm Ben Throckmorton. I want to thank you for popping in to check out this short video that I've put together for you concerning the three mistakes that I see made most when companies, large, small, regional, national, local, when these companies try to, to put together an online marketing strategy and then implement it to increase, obviously, their traffic, uh, their sales, uh, those type of things. So the good news is, is that if you're here, I'm fairly certain that you do understand that, that um, the, the value in increasing your, your reach in Google and in the other search engines, uh, that you understand how important social media can be in interacting uh, with your customers, your leads, your potential customers, uh, interacting with those folks, and, um, and you know, the need to, to integrate these things together in an effort, like I said, to increase the traffic into your site, to increase the number of leads you receive, and ultimately the number of dollars into your business uh, being the ultimate goal. Um, so if you'll hang out with me just for a couple minutes here, I'm gonna run these down for you, tell you a little bit about them. Um, I've been doing SEO for a long time, uh, providing services to companies large and small uh, since 1998, and I've seen a bunch. Uh, of mistakes made. I've seen a bunch of successes as well. So uh, most people, when they find me, they find me through a referral. So somebody I've done business for, somebody I'm doing business for, uh, refers me to them. And most all these folks who find me, they have, have some stuff in common. Uh, typically, they fall into one of these three categories. Uh, they know they need social media. They know they need SEO services. They know they need more traffic into their sites. They know they need more leads. They know they need more sales, um, but they just don't know how to get there. So typically they fall into one of these three categories, which I'm gonna kind of run down for you right now. Uh, the first being, um, they fall into the category where, where your online marketing, your SEO, your social media, all that is an afterthought. Um, so, um, and this can be any number of, of, of different scenarios play out, but most of these play out uh, these companies will, will shovel their SEO, their social media, their marketing, their integrated marketing plan. They'll shovel that onto someone who doesn't have time to do it. So they'll take someone who's sitting in their office, uh, maybe an IT person, maybe a salesperson, somebody, uh, uh, somebody along those lines, and they'll say, okay, well, can you handle this? And usually what that means is, is that uh, it, it really doesn't get done. It's an, it's an afterthought. Or perhaps, you know, it's a small business owner. You know, there's somebody out there, maybe, uh, uh, maybe a dentist, or, or maybe you're a lawyer or a doctor, and, and you really know that, that online services, online traffic, all those things could really help your business if you could get that up and get it running seamlessly. Um, but after you work all day, you know, and you sit down at, at 9, 10 o'clock at night and you start trying to, to make Facebook posts and how does this work with that and, and, and what is this link building work? Should I buy, should I buy links? Should I not buy links? What should I do? Anchor text. I mean, what is, what is all this stuff? It becomes an afterthought. So you're, you're running your business or you've got somebody doing this who's doing another job and they're really trying to do both things, but SEO gets pushed to the back. So you don't want to fall into this. So if, if you are, if this sounds like you, if you're an individual business owner trying to do this on your own, um, if you have somebody sitting, a salesperson, an IT person, um, sitting in an office somewhere with, you know, making a Facebook post once every two weeks and that's your social media strategy, then you really need to get serious and think about getting somebody dedicated to your online marketing plan and the implementation of your online marketing and so uh, that can either be somebody sitting in house I mean you might choose to hire somebody um, which can be expensive or you can choose somebody like me uh, a company who can integrate these things put them together and, and make them work for your business but you don't want to fall into the trap of having your online marketing uh, be an afterthought it's just too important it's too important to your business it's too important to your bottom line to allow this to happen so don't fall into that trap the second mistake that I see people make, and another kind of category of these people who find me and they come to me, um, they're the people who have outsourced 
their SEO services, their, their online marketing, their social media management. They've outsourced it to a company for two or three hundred dollars a month. Uh, big mistake, and, and you shouldn't fall into this mistake. And the reason you shouldn't fall into it uh, is because for three hundred dollars a month, nobody's gonna gonna integrate a complete plan for you. It's not going to happen. And you can ask yourself um, just a really quick question, a really simple question. If, if you're a dentist, you're a doctor, you're a lawyer, you're a real estate agent, you're a, um, you know, you're a busy professional running a business out there trying to make money, how much of your time could I get for two or $300 a month? And if you ask yourself that question, the answer is going to be not much. I mean, I would not be able to get much of your time for two or three hundred dollars a month. Uh, you're busy. You do a lot of business. Uh, there's lots going on. Your time is valuable, and and good SEOs are the same. Uh, you're not going to be able to hire someone who can integrate your marketing strategy from end to end and make it work for you for two or three hundred dollars a month. It's just not going to happen for you. So what's going to happen is you're going to get someone who's doing automated link building, someone who's doing spun content, someone who's who's doing it on the cheap. Uh, and if you do these things on the cheap, uh, first and foremost, uh, in today's environment, it's not going to be very effective for you. Secondly, and maybe worse, you could get penalized in Google and have to start from scratch, maybe start with a new site. So you don't want to do these things. So just, just take... Take this uh, with a grain of salt and take it from somebody who knows. Somebody who's good, someone who's going to deliver you results uh, is not going to do it for two or $300 a month. So uh, I think you need to get realistic in your expectations and, and shop around. Uh, you know, um, Most uh, people who do what I do and who are good at it are uh, happy to give you a quote or happy to look at your situation, uh, to look at the, the competitiveness in your market, in Google and the other search engines, uh, look at what you're trying to achieve, your numbers, where you're trying to go, uh, the number of keywords, those types of things. But from end to end, look at it and see how much time it's going to take, how much content you're going to have to produce, uh, and, and to give you a realistic quote on the, uh, the services that would be required. So uh, I would just encourage you to not fall into the, the trap that if it's cheap, it's good, uh, because in this situation, uh, the cheapest is not always the best deal. Uh, so don't fall into that trap of outsourcing your, your SEO and your marketing plan for two to $300 a month. And last but not least, uh, one of the biggest mistakes that I see people make uh, is, is that they simply do nothing. People who come to me, uh, typically small businesses, they're out there, they're struggling, they're making some money, working on paying their employees, they know that targeted traffic from Google is very important and they can convert more leads, uh, but they don't know how to do that. This Facebook thing, this Twitter thing, they just, they just don't understand it. They know everybody says that it's, that it's great for business, that it could be great for your company, and, and, uh, but they just don't understand it. They can't get their, their head around it. They can't uh, understand how to get it set up. How do I set it up? What sort of stuff do I post? Uh, what do I do? You know, email marketing. Uh, and so what they do is it's overwhelming. They get overwhelmed and they just kind of turn off. And I see this a lot. Uh, I've actually seen the, the other two problems uh, too. Uh, but this one I see a lot when people are just doing nothing. Um, and your online marketing is too valuable uh, to just ignore and do nothing with. So, uh, you know, if, you, if you've got a successful business, then you know a successful online marketing campaign uh, could make you a lot more money. It could get you a lot more repeat customers. Uh, if you're a struggling business, well, you know online marketing uh, campaign could make or break you. I mean that could be could be the difference in you being around for the next ten years and growing your business or or being gone. Uh, so it's just way too important to be to do nothing. And and I would encourage you if you know if you're sitting out there. Uh, and, and any of these scenarios, uh, you know, sound familiar to you, uh, especially if you're if you're not doing anything, you need to, to get on the, the phone right now and, and call me, and, and let's talk about uh, uh, what we could do for you and how we could get your business moving. At least, at the very least, I can look at it and give you some ideas of some things that you could do, um, you know, that could could be beneficial to you and your business, so that you're not doing nothing. 
Uh, it's just too important to do nothing. So anyway, uh, I want to thank you uh, for checking out this video and spending a little time with me today. And uh, I hope that, that you'll contact me if you have questions, uh, you have comments, um, you know, if you'd like a quote, whatever it is, just, uh, you know, call the number. It's right here on the page. It's easy to find. It rings directly to, uh, to my phone, so you're going to get me. Uh, you're not going to get uh, some operator somewhere. You'll, you'll get me directly, and, uh, and we can have a nice conversation. Uh, or you can, you know, feel free to, to, to fill out the email form and send that. It's really easy. It comes directly to my email, and I answer everyone I get. So, uh, like I say, thanks for being here. Thanks for checking us out, and uh, I hope I get to talk with you soon.